Hi folks, welcome back to the board. So all the times and all that, welcome to Saturday. Uh, just just a nice day here. Um, I love the sun. I could be out in the sun every day. The go-kart project, the golf cart to you to Honda powered UTV project. Where are we? You guys remembered I was floating around. These are the handlebars for a snowmobile. And on the bottom of these that I cut off was this piece of pipe. And into this piece of pipe, this is what was doing the steering thing, right? You had that and this, and then these ends would go out to the um, to the skis. So it was the basically the steering part of a sled. So that's what this is. And then to create the pivot here and here, right? I just took a bolt, right? The the nut actually, and I ground it down, right? And I fit that into the pipe, and then I tack welded it, right? So this is, the bolt is tack welded into here. Then I, you know, tighten the bolt here. I'm going to put a little um, Teflon tape on here to, to hold this nice so it doesn't unscrew. So that's where that came from. Um, this piece here was actually slides on this shaft. I, I have a little tack weld here, but it was sliding on the shaft. And that's what was the uh, steering bearing, so to speak, right? This, the uh, steering wheel shaft bearing, the steering stem bearing or whatever. So what I did is I welded this handle onto that. I took this off, the little ball off a snowmo, uh, a snowblower, right? This rod here is part of a TV stand. It had two of these long bolts on it. Um, what I do at the end of it and what it did is oh here it is so um, it would go through the TV stand on one side right and then there was a piece of wood with a hole in it come out on the other end and you put a bolt on it so there were four of these to hold the TV stand together I kind of pressed the two ends up against four pieces of wood or eight pieces of wood and uh right well four pieces two ends against four pieces of of wood so um you can see where the bolt went on the other end this piece here was on this end i cut it off wrapped it around right put a bolt through it here and then right It's uh, sturdy enough. I had to um, see I have a longer throw here. This length is pretty long and I had to go part way down down the shifter rod or shifter shaft here. The problem was if I kept it up here right it took a longer throw and which means I had to rotate this shaft more than 90 degrees and that was causing me trouble. I didn't I didn't have enough length here. You can see it doesn't have to go down that far. But even coming up, you could see I, I really do use most most of the slot. Um, I wanted to set this up that should anybody do anything really, really stupid with this, I mean really, really, you know, rip on it, crank on it, if um, something falls against it. I didn't want to break the um, the engine here. So you can see this is only held on by plumber strap. Right? I mean this stuff would break. And probably at some point as I'm riding this thing, I might I might actually uh, break it. It might it might be flexing a little bit and it might crack and break. But I don't care, right? It's it's trivial. Um, right, this thing here has 
could only go so far because it, it has to stay in the slot. This is only tack welded on and what I'm going to do is drill and put a bolt through this. I have enough space where you know you can see my fingers go right underneath it. So I'm going to drill and put a bolt a bolt through here. Right? And that'll hold nice and tight. You can see it's bolted down there. Right? These plates are bolted down. So um I'm snagging everything today. Seems to shift pretty nice. My temporary seat. So I'll be able to sit right down here. Right? And, you know, uh, let's see. First gear is going to be down. So I just take it and give it a little push down. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then downshifting, fifth, fourth, third, y you know, on and on. And then about going into reverse, I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. One of the guys recommended putting a... Um, handle on here such that I can squeeze this and as I'm pulling it backwards once in neutral I'll pull it backwards and she'll go into reverse right so that's that's one thing I could do the other thing I consider doing is setting up something with the brake such that you know you have the brake all the way down and that actuates the reverse one of the um one of the problems I'm running into is, you guys can see I did quite a bit of work on this, right? I got the bracket on for the, um, this doesn't move very far between locked and loose. So I'd have to actually put, I don't know, they call it a, a pass, a pass through bar with, with bolts on it. So as you're stepping on the brake, right you're you're moving on a spring so to speak until you get to a bolt and then you pull it and that then your brakes on but all that movement could be pulling on a cable which would um you know unlock right that has to be up to go into reverse so that's one thing i'm considering the only bad thing about back here and fooling around back here is it can interfere with the trunk type thing. As you uh, look down, the um, right, this comes straight down here. So, you know, the rear end and all or, or actually part way into you know that that plastic thing that sits back here so I'm gonna have to if if I want to keep this thing looking real stock I'm gonna have to do something with that or I don't know maybe this area should get filled in and become a real trunk I'll worry about that after I take it for its first ride so you can see what the shift lever looks like sticking up. Right. Um, so, I just have like a bunch of details to finish up. I'll probably, when I take it out for the first ride, I mean, that's the throttle right there. I'll probably be doing throttle by hand. It probably will not have the brakes hooked up. Probably it wouldn't even have reverse. I'll probably just, um, you know, pop it into reverse, so to speak. You know, get the engine idling, pop it into reverse to get it out, back it out of the garage, right? Um, take it, and then after that, it's going to, I'll go into first and second and so forth. And then when it's time to bring it back into the garage, right, I'll just drive it forward into the garage. Um, one of the other things that is uh, a little bit of a, 
annoyance. You can see where the carb is, and quite honestly, the carb's more or less at seat level. So I need to get the gas tank above the carb. And I don't know if for the time being I'm just going to put it in between the, the seats here or something. Um, but I, I, I don't like fuel pumps. I don't like electric fuel pumps. I don't like any of that stuff because now you're counting on something working. And if it doesn't work, you know, oh, it won't start. Sounds like it's starving for gas. Am I not getting power to the fuel pump or did the fuel pump soil itself you, you know what's wrong that i'm that it won't start so i, I you, you know with gravity gas feed and an on and off valve i i prefer that much better even with the cushmans that guy and the uh well actually even with the golf cart um and the cushman in the lower garage on all of those i've i've set them up with gravity feed tanks um, I just fuel pumps are a pest um, and some fuel pumps the ones that run off the engine um, this engine no but some of them run off um, a cam you know a little pump running off the cam if the diaphragm goes bad it puts gasoline into the engine case and you know and, th and that could just be all kinds of trouble Right, it could dilute your oil, which you know could cook your engine for you, depending on how low you let it, let it run on oil and how much gas you get into your crankcase. You, you know, you're basically riding alongside a hand grenade, and uh, I don't know about you. Well, I mean, w once again, this engine wouldn't have that problem, but I just as soon not have my butt alongside a hand grenade it, it just doesn't lead to a uh, good life expectancy or or good health outcomes um guys any questions on this thing please ask um it's it's coming along now it's it's really coming along nicely i'm very i'm very pleased with the progress i made over the last couple of days so uh I guess this is it. We got about 12 minutes into this, so I'm going to end this video. By the way, I also obviously have to do something with the chain, right? We don't, we don't want, you know, chain all loosey loosey like that. So I gotta, I gotta put some thought and move that forward. All right, folks. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Cake. Take care now, folks. Bye.